Hi everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture I want to go over orthogonal and orthonormal sets or set of vectors. <clears throat> now again recall when uh, we had u dot v equals to zero then we know that u vector u and vector u they're going to be perpendicular or orthogonal. So we say u and v are orthogonal vectors. Now the first definition let's go over orthogonal sets if you have a set of vectors in rn if you do the dot product of each vector for all i and j not to be the same for example if you do v1 dot v2 and so on v1 dot v3 v1 dot v and and the same thing with v2 v3 and you get zero for all of them then you say this set S is said to be an orthogonal set. Orthogonal, that means all the vectors in the set are orthogonal to each other. And I put an example here. Let's say we are in R3. We have three vectors in R3. And uh, so that's in R3. And I did v1 dot v2, and again, if you use the formula, you get zero. v2 dot v3 is going to give you zero, and v3 dot v1 dot v3 is going to give you zero. So all these three vectors are perpendicular to each other, or we say they're orthogonal to each other. S is an orthogonal set because v1, v2, and v3 are orthogonal to each other. Now let's see what is orthonormal. If you have a set of vector again in Rn, this time I call them u1, u2, and dot, 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 un. If you do u dot, ui dot, uj, if you get zero, if i is not the same as j, and you get one as uh, when i equals to j, that means u dot, ui times ui or u1 dot u1 and you get one, then you say this is an orthonormal set. What is orthonormal? Every single vector in the set are orthogonal to each other and the norm or the magnitude of every single vector is one. This uh, should remind you like a standard basis. So now, all the vectors are orthogonal to each other and if you do you find the norm of each vector which is square root of u dot u then you get one an example i did take a little example here this is just the standard set in uh, r2 that's our first vector that's our second vector if you do u one dot u2 then you get zero and if you find the norm of u1 uh, you can use that formula or just the formula for the magnitude you get one and the same way if you find the norm of u2 you do get one so please uh, know the orthonormal sets because later on we're gonna use this a lot in our next lectures so now, if you're given an orthogonal, orthogonal set, that means all the, no, all the vectors are orthogonal to each other. If you want to change that to an orthon, orthonormal set, then you just normalize every single vector. And just to refresh your memories, normalizing a vector, you take that vector and you divide the vector by its magnitude. So, and you do that for all the vectors in the set and that way an orthonormal set becomes an orthogonal set becomes an orthonormal set so please know the difference between orthogonal well first know what is an orthogonal set and what's an orthonormal set and you know, how we can go from an orthogonal set to an orthonormal set because later on when we do gram schmidt uh, algorithm we're going to use this a lot that's good enough. This is a short lecture, but that's uh, good enough. I do want you to know
the definition until uh, we do our next lecture. Thank you and have a good one, everyone.